All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are live. We are the Missouri State Grizzlies, and tonight we're going up against the SSCC Patriots. Now, this is Call of Duty 4v4. This is the Contender Series. This is week number five. We're taking this over to game one right now. We're over here at Al Bagra Fortress, a great place. I love this area in the Warzone map, and I know that our four players here at MSU also love this map. So we are going to go ahead and move in right now. This is map one, Hardpoint. We always play Hardpoint first, and if you're unfamiliar with what Hardpoint is and how the game mode works, I'm going to go ahead and explain it to you. So Hardpoint is a game mode where there is a certain area on the map that is highlighted for everybody. The players from each team have to hop on that in that area, the capture point that you see up there, to gain time for their team. The more time that they get, the more points go onto their side of the field. As you can see, the Grizzlies are up six with the Patriots at 10 now, and you gotta go up to 250 points. So that means 250 seconds on the point, because every second is one point. I'm getting a lot of game lag for some reason as well. I might have to switch some stuff around. Um, it should not be my graphic settings, because this, this game runs uh, extreme graphics on this computer with still really high frames, 160 frames. So um, we'll just have to see what the issue is. It might just be a simple connection issue. But anyways, as we're moving in right now, I'm seeing the Grizzlies are now slightly behind as the point has rotated over to point two. The Grizzlies are now in control of this point. As you can see Flame Terror trying to get some eliminations right here, already picking up one. I see Legends with a nice golden Vazna sitting on point at the moment. Looking good. Legends getting elimination. Can Shudo backing him up as Legends get taken down by a frag grenade and the Grizzlies are now back in the lead as we speak. Can Shudo picking up some right there. Some text just misses open door. He sees this. He sees this Patriot player. Looking around in the back. 43-22 right now. The Grizzlies are getting a pretty good 20 second lead here at the moment. Can Shudo look towards double. There's somebody double. There's somebody open. Does not quite get the player open as that player does lay down. It's a good strategy doing the drop shot right there. So it looks like the point is still in control by the Grizzlies. And I say that, they hop off, rotating over to point number three. Looks like Legends is already going over there right now, getting backed up by Blue Boy. Blue Boy can't quite get that elimination, however. Looks like Legends is about to go down as well. They know he's up here on the door. Looks like Legends does go down as well. Can Shudo running in, does not quite get any eliminations. Just Flame Terror can't either. That is all for the Grizzlies taken down right there by the Patriots. Blue Boy reciprocates that, however, was able to get a nice comeback elimination right there as it says in Halo Infinite. Flame Terror getting some as well, looking good. Blue Boy gets taken down, trying to hop on point. So does Legends, but Flame Terror and Can Shooter are able to get some eliminations here. Flame Terror picking up two and hopping on point, securing the point for the Grizzlies. Looking absolutely beautiful right now. That is what I like to see. Now, the Grizzlies are still in the lead by almost double the time. They're up 78 to 42 as we speak. Now, like I said before, we have to make it to 250 points in total to take home game number one. So in about 12 seconds, this uh, this point is gonna be rotating over to point number four. And we're gonna be taking a run over there right now. As we see, it looks like Flame Terror running over there at the moment. Looks like, yeah, looks like Flame Terror is going to be the first one touching point here very soon. He can hop on point. There is one player below him as Flame Terror sits in top rails at the moment. There is a player that is inside the jail cell. Trophy system going down from that Patriot player. Can Shudo getting a nice elim right there. Flame Terror able to pick one up as well. Looking absolutely beautiful. Legends gets taken down, however, and the point is now under Grizzly's control. Can Shudo, nice elimination right there. It's like Blue Boy hopping out. Look, he just got out of the veteran raid to be able to get this camo as well. As you can see the Voltaic camo on his gun. I've been, this guy's been in the, he's been in the raid. I mean, he literally just did it like an hour ago. So, I mean, he's already repping that beautiful, beautiful skin. So it looks like the score is 102 to 58 at the moment. Grizzlies are still in the lead. However, the point is being controlled by the Patriots. Blue Boy does not quite get both of these players. Looks like Legends was able to pick one up. Looks like there's three seconds left on the point. I think the Grizzlies are going to be rotating over. Looks like Kanshido is doing just that. Able to pick one up right there. Kanshido, you insane gentleman. Looks like Foggy Goat over here is laying down. Looks like Ghosty sitting on top with Sweat Boy now back under taking out Kanshido. Looking good right here. Looks like Blue Boy hopping on point right there with that show me them blue snipes. I am not getting any lag, says Panonymous. Okay, well, that, that's good to hear. It must have just been uh, my screen that was getting some lag. Um, I just I just saw a little bit um, in the game. So, 
Maybe, maybe it was just, maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just tweaking. Ah. Anyways, looks like Blue Void not quite able to get some eliminations right there. And I also do have to say, Panonymous, the snipes only come out in Search and Destroy. That is the only time where snipers are usable. So this, we have to wait until the next round to see any snipes from Blue. So it looks like Hardpoint still under control by the Grizzlies right now. Looking good. 130 to 72 at the moment. And the point has rotated over and we are back in P1 now. So the original point of the game by the trucks, if you remember earlier, that we're sitting here right now looking through Kanshido's eyes, that is the point that we're back at at the moment. So I'm excited to see how, just how well the Grizzlies are going to be able to hold this. Blue Boy with a nice shot right there, taking out Foggy. Kanshido, some nice eliminations, just holding down this point, being the point princess, as they like to call him. They like to just toss Kanshido on the point when everybody else just kind of holds angles and runs around. I, I feel like Blue Boy is the one who kind of just sprints around the map and just does what he wishes. With Kanshido sitting on point, like I said, and Legends and Flame Terror holding angles near the point. So this just ensures that the Grizzlies have such a solid defense. If Blue Boy happens to get taken down, they have to go through Flame Terror and of course Legends, and then they're finally gonna be able to push point against Kanshido. So Flame Terror right here with the cruise missile coming down right now, taking out this one player in mid. Poor Foggy. That is not what I like to see right there. Looks like Blue Boy gets taken down right there as the point is rotating over, which is now already under control by the Grizzlies. That is what I like what I like to see. Flame Terror getting a nice elimination on top rails right there. Legends picking one up as well. This guy Legends, man. He was playing infected earlier. He's 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 used to fighting the, the undead. He's not a he's not fighting the undead anymore. He's not fighting zombies. He's he's fighting real humans. So Looks like Flame Terror and Blue Boy picking up some eliminations as Legends goes down. Flame Terror getting traded right there. Blue Boy running around with that nice tack 56. With an X12 as a secondary right now. Some nice shots by Blue Boy. He picks up the two, but gets traded out as Flame Terror is already sitting on point number three. I think they are opting to let the Patriots have this point. As I can see, Flame Terror sitting here right now, but I do see Blue Boy coming around through mid to try to get a pinch on any of the players that are trying to rotate. And he gets shot in the back, and he does not quite get that elimination. But Flame Terror is already happily sitting on point right now. Scores currently 219 to 90. It's going to be 95 when this point rotates over. And so that means the Grizzlies only need 30 more seconds on point in order to take this game home now this is only round one of the series so if the grizzlies win this round they will need to win two more so we're gonna go ahead and see just how well this is gonna go looks like can shoot with a nice cruise missile right there gets taken out by a trophy system however trophy systems are able to take out those missiles which is very upsetting but the grizzlies only need seven more seconds on this hard point to take it Kanshudo being the point princess that he is and it looks like the game is gonna go to the grizzlies absolutely beautiful the score, that was that was a beautiful score. I believe that was 250 to 95. Grizzlies take home game number one. Now, after this final kill and after we flash the stats a little bit, we're going to go ahead and move into a quick BRB screen. And then we're going to go into a search and destroy map. On, sorry, search and destroy game mode on the same map. Looks like the most frags go to Flame Terror right there. Looking good with 27. We will see you guys soon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back for game number two, and we are on the exact same map as we were last game, but with a slightly different game mode that I'm going to explain very soon. We are the Missouri State Grizzlies, and tonight we're up against the SSCC Patriots, and this is the Call of Duty 4v4 Contender Series under the NJC AAE. So the score is currently 1-0 in favor of the MSU Grizzlies. And like I said, this is map number two, same map as last time, Albagra Fortress, and we're moving into a new game mode, Search and Destroy. Now the way Search and Destroy works is there are two teams, an attacking team and a defending team. The attackers, which are the Grizzlies first, by the way, with the Patriots defending first, the Grizzlies have got to plant a bomb at one of two bomb sites or eliminate all the defenders. The Patriots, which are the defenders, they have to stop the Grizzlies from planting by eliminating all of them, or after the bomb is planted, they have to defuse the bomb to win. So it looks like Kanshido and Blue Boy both get taken down, and that reminds me, there is a twist to this game mode that is here unlike the last game. So once you are eliminated in Search and Destroy, you do not come back until the next round. So once you go down, you're down for good. So you really have to play this, you have one life, so you have to play this really safe, really cautious, as you can see, Legends playing right now getting a nice pick evening out the playing field flame terror barely alive right now flame terror no longer alive 
It looks like Legends is doing a great job at... Oh, Legends with a nice four-piece. I think that... Was that a four-piece? Hang on. Let me look. No, it was a three-piece from Legends. Flame Terror with a one. Yeah, Flame Terror. Just got to ruin the ace, am I right? Anyways, Legends looking good with a nice Vazmev swap right there. Not having to reload. Looking good. My man Legends, he's out here going crazy. So in between every round, we do switch sides. So that means the Grizzlies are going to be defending now with the Patriots attacking. And so, same old, same old, rinse and repeat. Uh, this is going to switch every round, and the score goes up to six. So that means either team has to win six rounds to take home this game. A little bit of a parkour going on right here from Legends. He misses, however, as Blue Void gets taken down immediately. This guy, Blue Void, Owen too right now. I think, I think he knows Owen. I think Owen's his best friend. Oh, this guy, Legends, he knows he can't beat Attack 56 at that range. The Attack 56 is very, very, very good. Very good AR, and as you know, ARs be SMGs at a longer range. It's like Kanshiro, does he know that this player is going to be? I think he hears him running. He does. He didn't hear that player running, but he did hear somebody next to him. He activates the dead silence right now. Legend's getting a nice elimination. He peeks open the door. Oh, Kanshiro gets caught by surprise by Sweat Boy. Or Sweaty Boy. Or Ty. Maybe, maybe his name's Ty? I don't know. Anyways... Life pool is currently 2-2. Two to two. The bomb is down. So that means Flame Terror, Flame Terror watching over the bomb right now. The Patriots are going to have to grab the bomb. It doesn't need to because Flame Terror is able to get the last elimination right there. Giving Grizzlies number 2 in the score. The score is currently 2-0. Grizzlies are up. They got to win 4 more to take this game home. Missing a couple shots right there, Flame Terror. What is that all about, man? I'm going to have to go give a, give a little talk to this guy. Anyways, anyways. Switching sides once more, moving on to round number three. We're going to be attacking this time here at MSU. So we're going to see how this is going to go. I want to see who grabs bomb. So I can show you. What oh, 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 wait, never mind. We got some blue voice snipes. I, I, I hope Mama Blue is in chat right now. Because we're seeing we're seeing Blue Boy with the sniper. We love Blue Boy with sniper. Oh, he changes off though. Oh, he changes off. That is so upsetting. Blue Boy getting a nice elim right there. Tossing a Semtex out. Claims no victims. Stun goes out. Doesn't hurt anyone, though. Legend's doing a little bit of damage right there. It's up to Legends and Kanshudo right now. They're going to have to do something. wonder if Kanshudo can do anything at the moment. With that beautiful Orion camo, he spent so much time grinding. He refused to play Warzone with me for a while because he just wanted this camo, and now that he has it... Oh, will he go down? He doesn't go down. Oh, but he does not see that player hiding by the stables. It is up to Legends, who has Bomb. I think a good rotate over to B. I think these players think he might be going to B, because I do see them hopping off. Well, they were hopping off. They are no longer hopping off. 30 seconds left in the game. He hits the dead silence. And he opens that door as a little bit of a bait in case there was somebody near him. Looks like he's going to have to plant on B here to give himself some more time to cook with. So now... The cards are in the hands of, as you can see, the two players from the Patriots immediately started moving. They know that they had to get over here to the bomb site. If they're able to eliminate Legends to defuse the bomb in enough time, they'll be able to take this round home. But Legends, he can either stall them or he can just eliminate both of them. It'll be a little bit difficult, however. He can do it, though. These players are moving in. He's waiting. Looks like Kane going up on the top here. Legends sees him. Legends gets him. Looks like this other player might be defusing. He's not. He's not defusing yet. He doesn't have enough time. Legends gets the last elimination either way, but it didn't matter because that Patriot did not have enough time to defuse the bomb. I believe, I keep, I keep forgetting the amount of time. I'd have to ask Brock or I'd have to ask Toxic, but I believe it was like seven seconds to defuse the bomb. I think you have to have, or maybe I'm wrong. It's either 7 or 10 seconds. I completely forgot. But, yeah. It's, it's, it's something like that. Either way, you have to have enough time to defuse the bomb after eliminating the last player. Or just in general, you don't even have to eliminate the last player to defuse the bomb. But it is very difficult, especially if that player stays near the site. They're going to hear you punching buttons. And they will know that you're trying to defuse. So I got Blue Boy. Ooh, Blue Boy with a snipe right here. Holding this little pixel angle. Playing like it's Siege right now. Ooh, a big frag grenade. Almost takes out Blue Void. He misses the snipe like the menace he is. 
misses that one somehow. Oh, he gets executed. Oh, that can't be right. Oh, no. Oh, Blue Boy's angry. Oh, Blue Boy's angry. I can already tell. Kenshido goes down. Flame Terry gets a nice elimination right there. Life pool is currently even. Looks like there is a player behind Flame Terror. He does not know it yet. Now he knows it. The bomb is down in mid with Legends holding this angle here. The bomb has now been picked up by Ty the Sweaty Boy. But the cruise missile goes down. Ooh. Oh, he doesn't get the elimination though. The bomb is going to have to go down right now. Looks like this player might start planting. He is planting on B. And I can I can hear the I can hear the beep. So Legends knows it's right here. Legends gets one. He's going to have to eliminate Ty right here. He doesn't know where he is, I don't believe. Well, he might know. He's getting some height. No, no, he's going all the way around. He's taking the long route. He doesn't have a lot of time to work with here. He's got to hurry up. And he sees him in the corner. He gets it. He's got to make a bum rush for it. And he gets it. Oh, and he gets it. Oh, he gets it in just enough time. That is absolutely beautiful. We'll see how long it takes right here. Yeah, it takes seven seconds. That is my bad, guys. It takes seven seconds to defuse the bomb. So that means since he got it with 10 seconds left in the round, he was able to defuse the bomb. That is what we'd like to see, ladies and gentlemen. Score is currently 4-0 right now for the match in the Search and Destroy here on Albagra Fortress. We're switching sides once again. Means the Grizzlies are going to be attacking this time with the Patriots defending. So we're going to see how this is going to go. It looks like Legend's currently up 11-0. Man. These guys, Blue Boy and Kanshido, what are these guys doing, man? I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. Anyways, Legend's absolutely cooking tonight on the 4v4. Looking absolutely beautiful. Do we have, we have another Blue Voice snipe? Kanshido getting a nice first elimination right there. And the bomb is going down by Legends. He gets the plant off. We're going to look back at Blue Boy right now. See what he's cooking up with the sniper rifle. He has a pumpkin-y, Halloween-like looking sniper rifle right here. That's what I like to see. Kanshido getting two eliminations. Flintera getting a nice one. Oh, Kanshido, he mantles into the, into the face of this other player. This player has got... I don't know if this player can do anything right here. Yeah, it looks like he's backing up, saving the KD. Because this player does not have enough time to defuse the bomb. So that means no matter what, this game is going to the Grizzlies. Beautiful round number five by the Grizzlies right there. Oh, he, he gets a double right there. You believe it is 7.5 seconds to defuse. Thank you, Harmonix. It, it's good to see you in chat again, man. I haven't seen you in a hot minute. I haven't seen you in a hot minute. But yeah, it is good to know it's 7.5 seconds. Um, that's 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 good. So Legends with the 11 and 1. This guy throwing now. <laughs> so we're going to see what's about to go down right here. It is now match point for the Grizzlies. Oh, Legends is stunned. He's in the he's in the center. He's getting he's getting bum rushed right here. Oh. Oh, he gets a hit marker. Dead silence going down. Oh, he gets the shot off on Ty, who's trying to plant. The bomb goes down, but it is sitting over there on B site. Snipe it up and don't stand for that blue. Mama Blue, it's good to see you in chat. Score is currently 5-0 right now, as you can probably see. Kanshudo getting a nice elimination. It's currently a 3v1. Will this player be able to clutch it up? Kanshudo with the last elimination of the game. And this round goes to the Grizzlies 6-2-0. Now, the Grizzlies are going to be moving into match point for the night here at the NJCAAE COD 4v4 tournament after this nice final kill by Kanshudo. We're going to be taking it over to a control game mode. So I will see you all very soon after we take a look at the stats. We'll see you all very soon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back for game number three of the night. We're the Missouri State Grizzlies, and tonight we are going up against the SSCC 
Patriots. Now, this is the Call of Duty 4v4 Contender Series with the NJC AAE. This is week number five, and we are taking this into game number three right now. It is match point for the Grizzlies. The score is currently 2-0 for the night. This is Control on Breenberg Hotel. Now, Hotel, that's that's our boy Flame Terror's favorite map. You know, we gotta, we, we gotta have our boy Flame Terror on this map. It's definitely his all-time favorite. So, Control, the way that this game mode works is a little special, right? There are two teams, the attackers and the defenders. The attackers have to capture one of two points. Sorry, not one of two, both points that are on the map. And the defenders have to, you guessed it, stop them from doing that. So there is one twist in this game that is not a part of any other game mode in Call of Duty. There is what's called a life pool. Now, the life pool is of 30. You saw at the very start where it said lives remaining on either side of said 30. Now it's 26, 25, or 25, sorry, 25, 24. Let me just go ahead and <laughs> throw that out there. Anyways, once that life pool hits four, no one can respond anymore. So you're playing with your last life. But once that life pool hits zero, that means the team whose life pool hit zero loses, no matter what the progress is on the points, no matter how much time was left in the game, doesn't matter, they lose. And so right now, the Grizzlies are the ones that are attacking and they have almost fully captured A site and they are in the progress process of capturing B. And it looks like Mr. Flame Terror, who is sitting on A site right now is able to get that capture. Looks like Can Shudo, who is sitting on B site right now, is slowly capturing it right now. If there is an attacker that is on a point, whether it's contested or whether they're capturing, the timer that you can see, which says 2.11 right now, will stop. And it looks like the first round goes to the Grizzlies, who were on attack. They were able to capture both zones. Score is currently 1-2-0. And so now I will be obligated to say that the score goes up to 3. So it is a first to 3 game mode. So the Grizzlies need to win 2 more rounds to take this home. And the Patriots need to win 3 more. So now, we're switching sides. The Grizzlies are going to be the ones that are defending with the Patriots attacking. And so, let's go ahead and take a look at the score right here. It looks like Blue Boy, 8-1. Can Shudo following him up 6-2. Legends, 3-3. and three. Flame Terror, 1-3, man. This guy, Flame Terror, what is he doing? He's got to pick that up, man. I cannot believe this. Anyways, we're moving in here. Looks like the Patriots making an initial rush to a site. Blue Boy getting taken out immediately. Looks like these players are on A. Legends gets taken down. Looks like they are stacking up on A right now. All four of them. Oh, I hear Kanshido's high-pitched scream. He gets scared sometimes, and he lets out a, a scream that can shatter windows. Uh, probably has broken some of the glass on some of the PCs that we have. Uh, if it wasn't tempered glass, I don't know, man. I don't know. That I think they would have shattered a long time ago. But anyways, the point has been captured by the Patriots, so that adds one minute onto their time slot. I did forget to say that earlier, but when the attackers capture a point, it adds a minute to their time pool. So now the Patriots have two minutes to capture b site. Now b site is the hardest to capture, so they're saving the worst for last. So we're going to see Flame Terror over here in the, on the top platform, running through the hotel. So like Blue Boy coming in here by the lounge. Able to get that nice elimination right there. Flame Terror getting a nice two-piece. This guy's a menace. He gets the three-piece. This Flame Terror guy, man, he's picking it up. Let's see the score now. Okay, six and three. Okay, okay, that's respectable. He's on a he's on a rolling five right now. This guy, Flame Terror, man. All I had to do is just talk bad about him, and then now he's doing good. What is this game? So like Legends gets taken out, but Blue Void gets traded. So the score, starting out the score, the lives right now, 23 to 16. 22 to 16. So the Grizzlies have a very large life advantage in comparison to the Patriots. So we're about to see what's about to go down right here. It looks like Patriots are really trying to get closer to point right now, but they haven't really made too much of an advance. Oh, Blue Void, not quite. Kanshido with a nice shot right there. Taking that player out in attack 56. Gets two pieces right there. Looking absolutely beautiful. Watching through reception desk right here. Waiting for anybody to come up through D1. Maybe through the outside, Legends goes down right here. Patriots have 40 seconds left in the round to hop on point. Because like I said, if one of the attackers sits on point, the timer stops. So all they had to do is get on point and just not get off. And they win. So Flame Terror kind of running around through arches right here. Blue Boy getting a nice elimination before getting taken out. Flame Terror getting caught off guard, but gets that elimination. Trading out Kanshudo. 
Flame Terror, dude. Oh, this guy. 30 seconds left in the game. So, as you can see, there are three sections to B and A up there on the points. If that red line does not reach one of those sections, that means it can always be reset, as you can see it going back down. And the way to reset that is the defenders have to stand on the point. However, once it reaches one-third, two-thirds, that means it can't go lower than the one-third of the two-third point. Can't shoot it. You gotta live it up right here. Four seconds left. And I think he stays on point long enough. I don't think I don't think Patriots can get on and they can't. Making this 2-0 for the Grizzlies. Moving into match point for the match point. Grizzlies 2-0, both in the control game and in the 4v4 game in general. Looking good. Tack 56 doing the slide. KD looking 13 and 5 right here. Oh, this guy Kanshido's cooking with Blue Voice 16 and 9. Oh my. You know, this is what I like to see. <laughs> I, I'm liking this. I am really liking this. Anyways, oh, oh, Legends has the, he has the MP5 build with max mobility. Oh, no. Oh, what is he doing? That is not something I want to see. Nading into reception, putting some stuns out. Flame Terror, a nice initial elimination. <laughs> I don't know if anyone heard Kanshudo scream, but he definitely did. Very loudly, in fact. So it looks like Kanshudo and Flame Terror are sitting on B site right now. And the more players, I, I did, forgot to did forget to mention, the more players, attackers, who are sitting on one of the points, the faster it gets captured. So if you have all four players sitting on point, it captures much faster than if you just have one player. So B has already been captured, putting another minute onto the time slot. So two minutes and 18 seconds for the Grizzlies, as they are now legends, is now sitting on A site, and he has captured it not too far, really. Like I said, it's going pretty slow, as you can see right here, because it's only legends on point. He's using this absolutely absurd MP5 build, this Lockman sub build, man. I don't know. This guy's kind of weird. Anyways, they make it to one third. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of lag there. Legends taking out two. Man, <laughs> this is this is funny. I love this MP5 build that Legends is using right now. I gotta get that. I gotta use that in one of my Warzone games. It's like Legends getting a nice elimination, but gets traded by Blue Boy. Flame Terror gets one. Legends gets another. Oh, Flame Terror with a two. Oh my, what's happening right here? It looks like Zone A is slowly being fully captured right here by the Grizzlies, and this could be it right here. It could be a 3 0 3. Oh, they're moving off point. They want kills. Oh, they're hungry. Oh, they don't want to end yet. Oh, maybe they should. Maybe, maybe they maybe they should. They got they got a little too thirsty for kills. They hopped off point. Flame Terror can't shoot going in right now. Oh, Flame Terror kills Blue Boy. Oh, that is not okay. But the point is slowly being captured, and that means it is a 3-0 for the 3-0 for the Missouri State West Plains Grizzlies. I want to say good games to SSCC Patriots. You guys played amazing. Happy to see you guys tonight. I want to say thank you to everybody who's coming to chat as well. It's a blessing seeing all of you here out tonight. Grizzlies have one week five 3-0 against the Patriots. And so we will be moving in to another game next week after we take a look at the stats. It has been an honor being your caster, and I will see you guys next time.